It's technology. Yeah, pretty much, that's what it is. It's a situation. Um, it's not real. It's not true. We're just giving you a, a situation, not a scenario. The world is in mass chaos and a chemical uh, plant explodes. Once you watch this film, you're going to move into room two. You're going to receive a mission brief based off of using science, technology, engineering, and math. They want you to design a piece of equipment to help with the situation. Three is where you want to actually design a piece of equipment. Again, so not real, not true. Today, riots have erupted in southern and eastern Europe. Chaos has struck in the Czech Republic for the fifth consecutive day. Explosions in Milan, Italy have prompted the closing of public areas. Extremists demand the downfall of the European Union and recorded message posted online. A group of anti-government extremists calling themselves the Hands, the of, Hands Liberation. of Liberation have claimed responsibility for a recent attack on a government building near the border of Germany and Holland. And have drawn significant concern from several of Europe's allies, including the United States and Australia. Bombs have destroyed parts of the rail system in Hungary. The Hands of Liberation have claimed responsibility for the attack. U.S. intelligence forces have intercepted packages sent to government officials in London. Reported to contain highly lethal chemicals, and in one instance, explosives. Three suspected members of the Hands of Liberation have been arrested in Brussels. The suspects were in possession of bomb-making materials and plotting a series of attacks to coincide with New Year's celebrations. We are receiving reports that the Hands of Liberation are claiming responsibility for the detonation of four bombs in London's underground. The claim leader, the Chosen One, has announced that the attacks will continue until European governments answer their demands. Bombings at three foreign embassies across Europe have the continent in a panic this morning. Evacuations have begun in Paris, Stockholm, and Warsaw. Breaking news. United States Embassy in Romania has been attacked. U.S. officials are deploying forces to protect U.S. personnel on the ground. This just in. A chemical plant in Belgrade has been targeted by the Hands of Liberation. We go there now live, where Jennifer Lowe is on the ground. Jennifer? Yes. Yes, we are here. The Hands of Liberation have issued a threat that this facility has been targeted. An evacuation is currently underway. There are over 2,000 employees that work at this facility. The terrorist organization is demanding immediate dissolution of the European Union and a splintering of governmental power to territory to be ruled by Liberation Local Council. They have targeted this and 10 other facilities across Europe in their latest and most severe threat. This is a petrochemical plant with extremely hazardous material that could create an environmental disaster if we're indeed hit by the terrorists. As a result, defense measures have increased significantly to deter this threat. There appears to have been an explosion. The storage facility is in flames. It's directly behind me. We have confirmed that the Hands of Liberation have indeed claimed responsibility for the explosion at the Belgrade chemical plant. A large and dangerous cloud of smoke has filled the sky above the plant and is now reportedly spreading across the city. Surrounding cities are experiencing widespread panic and massive traffic jams as people flock to the roads in an attempt to escape from the affected area. Emergency medical teams have been sent into the zone, along with teams of workers intending to decontaminate affected civilians and transport them to safety. This is far from over.